choosing the right path in life is really hard. Sometimes we are in situations where we're given a choice. We can take option A or option B, and we don't know which choice to choose. And in reality, you can never know until you choose one and then you look back and you can say, oh, maybe I should have chosen this choice instead. But a lot of times that's not a useful exercise because a lot of times you'll choose something, things will work out and you won't really know what would have happened if you would have made another choice because life is random. A lot of life is about luck. In this video, I want to talk about choosing the right choice, choosing the best choice and how you can make that decision. And we're going to start by looking at an email I received from a subscriber because this person is encountered with two really good choices. They basically have the option to go to graduate school or the option to get a job. And both of them are very appealing and they're both very interesting. So I'm going to read the email. And if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I think this might help a lot of people who are watching this on the internet because it's very real. It's a very real situation that can probably happen to you. And honestly, this person is in a really good situation. So hopefully they see this video and hopefully it helps them. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up here and read this email because it's really good. The person's name is Max. I will leave their last name out of it. The subject is career academic advice. Hey, math sorcerer. I have been watching your videos for a year now. They are amazing. I am currently a senior in college, double majoring in computer science and applied mathematics. I am trying to decide if I want to go to grad school or not. For some background, I am super interested in everything STEM, and I originally was majoring in physics, but switched to the double major. I am still super interested in physics and astronomy and regret switching majors. I also recently did an internship with a defense contractor and gotten a full-time offer for a software engineering role when I graduate this spring. I really want to go to grad school, but the problem I am having is deciding which path to go down. I live near several universities with good grad programs. One program is for engineering that would help me excel with this job offer and help me career-wise and money-wise. The other one is for physics that would help me into that area and help me get into the world of academics and research. I really enjoy both areas. I just don't know which one to pick or if I could combine them somehow. Anyway, do you have any advice for which path to take? Sorry if I explained things too confusingly. Thanks, Max. Let me just say that this is an amazing email and I think that I actually do have some advice and I, I'm just going to give you my opinion and what I think you should do. And it's not necessarily the right opinion. I'm not saying that you should do what I say. This is just what I would do in your situation. And I'm going to explain why. So I'm just going to get straight to the point and say, I think you should take the job. And I'm not saying it's because I don't think it's a good idea to go into academics or research. It's because the job is the opportunity that is in front of you, right? It's right there. It's in your face. It's what's present. And I think that in life, Whenever you have opportunities, you should take them. I mean, you could take the job. If things don't work out, you could leave the job, right? You, you could change your mind later. The world of academics and research will always be there for you. Now, you could make the argument that, you know, once you go to, you know, a job, it's going to be really hard your, to leave your job because it's going to be really hard to give up that really good paycheck, those benefits. But hey, you have a really good paycheck and you have benefits and you're doing something related to your major. You can always, you can always take the job and then pursue that engineering program or pursue some graduate level courses part time. I mean, your undergraduate is in computer science and applied mathematics. Clearly you're a smart person. Clearly you are very well talented. You work hard. I mean, you've proven yourself with this double major in computer science and applied math. That is extremely hard. I considered a double major in computer science and pure math. And I just switched to pure math. I didn't want to do both. I thought math is too hard. I, I, I don't want to do both. So the fact that you did both, I think says incredible things about you. Plus you landed a full-time role with a defense contractor. That is amazing. So I think take the opportunity that is in front of you 
uh, as a software engineer. Embrace it. Be thankful. This is a huge opportunity. You should be super excited. Take it 100%. Go into it full force and give it your best. And then, and then as a secondary, if you have the time and energy, take some classes part-time at night. Right. And, and then just pursue that and see how it goes. You can always change your mind later. Um, a lot of times these jobs, uh, I don't know how your position works. It says internship. You did an internship and you've gotten, well, you've got a full-time offer. Okay. So sometimes, you know, you have to work for them for a couple of years. I know that there's certain, um, scholarships that you can get from the Department of Defense that require that you work for X years, but this sounds a little different. And even if you had to do that, that's fine. I think it's great. I think it's a great opportunity. You should take it. You should celebrate. You should be super happy. I don't know, order a pizza, whatever, whatever you do to celebrate, right? Congratulations. It's really, really good. Take what you have, be super happy with it. And then if you decide to go back to academics and research, you can do that later, or you can do that later, but take what's in front of you, take the opportunity. Life will give you opportunities sometimes, and you have to be ready to grab them. And I think that this is an opportunity that's in your face that you should grab. That's just my opinion. Is it is it the best route to take? I don't know. Uh, maybe someone else has uh, a different perspective. Uh, it, it's kind of like the age-old question, right? It sounds like from your email, you really, really love, you know, you want to do physics and astronomy. You want to do research. It's like this this dream you have. But then like you have the real world saying, hey, here's a job offer. Or here's some money. You got to do this. You kind of like it, but not as much. Take the job and then you can always do that, you know, as an aside or come back to it later. But I definitely recommend taking that opportunity. I'm really curious to what other people think. Maybe there's people that disagree with me and I'm sure there are. If you disagree or agree or you have other advice from Max, leave a comment in the comment section below. So yeah, take the opportunities when they're given. That's my advice. Well, that's it. If you have any comments, leave a comment for Max. If you want to learn mathematics, uh, I do have courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but please use the links through my website as it helps me tremendously. If you use those links through my website, um, I have courses on almost all areas of math, mathsorcerer.com. Uh, if you found any value in this content and you feel like being a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to. And also, I do have a fitness channel. Uh, it's called The Fitness Sorcerer. So if you're into working out in health and fitness and stuff like that, I do post some fitness content there. Anyways, until next time, hopefully this has helped someone. And remember, when you are presented with a choice in life, you know, if you're, if you're given a choice, always look at the opportunities in front of you and say, hey, you know, is this an opportunity? Is this something that's going to come around again? Because in Max's case, the grad school experience is always there. You can always go back to it, right? But when you have that job opportunity and it's right there, it's in your face, it's it's really hard to give that up because if you give that up and go to grad school, that opportunity is gone, right? The grad school opportunity will always be there. So try to look at decisions in your life and try to embrace what you have. And I think you're in a great situation. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck. Keep doing mathematics.